What is going on, LDN Wrestling fans? Tom Mitchell here, and welcome to this very special one-hour edition of LDN Capital TV. On tonight's episode, we come from the beautiful British Overseas Territory of Gibraltar in the Five Star Sunborn Hotel. Tonight, there will be a knockout championship tournament to crown the first ever King of Gibraltar. The competitors in this tournament include the hotshot Joey Scott, teenage sensation Ollie Lloyd, Antonio Adamo from Italy, and British heavyweight champion Alan Lee Travis. This will be a fantastic night of wrestling, and well, LDN fans, welcome to Gibraltar. These are dangerous days. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fantastic choice that you have made to join us here on YouTube for LDN Wrestling in Gibraltar. This is history in the making as professional wrestling comes to Gibraltar for the first time ever and it is British wrestling who are paving the way and we have a tremendous hour-long almost edition of LDM Wrestling for you today, including three bouts that we are bringing to you right now. The first of which, and the first competitor, is in the ring and is backflipping his way to making history. Well, we finally got introductions out the way for our first competitor. And our first competitor is well known to LDN audiences. The LDN Capital Champion, the Hotshot Joey Scott. His opponent, however, is a young up-and-coming wrestler making his LDN Capital TV debut here. Well, Hotshot Joey Scott has a lot to say to the crowd here in Gibraltar. And I wonder if he spoke a little bit too soon as Oli Lloyd making his way to the ring right now. This teenage sensation from England is coming to the ring, hoping today to create history and win a championship in Gibraltar for the first championship title of his young career. And for the hotshot Joey Scott, the spoiler that he brought out before, maybe he spoke just a little bit too soon because whilst he did fly into Gibraltar, 
as Capital TV Champion. Whether he leaves as Capital TV Champion is unclear. Beautiful show of agility from Ollie Lloyd right there. Equaling the show of agility from the hookshot Joey Scott. So it's going to be Lloyd and it's going to be Scott opening up here this LDN special edition. So we are have this fantastic bout that we are about to bring you folks and uh, Ollie Lloyd then not allowing the hotshot Joey Scott to enter into the ring just yet. And I think Joey Scott's okay with that. I think Joey Scott is quite happy to be on the outside of the ring because inside those four corners, inside those ropes, inside that squared circle, Ollie Lloyd could pin or submit the hotshot Joey Scott and will become the LDN Capital Champion if that is the case. And there, of course, is the strap. The referee showing Ollie Lloyd the strap. Now, the winner of this bout will go on to the tournament finals later on in the episode. And at the tournament finals, we will be crowning a king of Gibraltar. And the crowd right here already seemingly favoring Ollie Lloyd as they would expect to do so after the way that they were spoken to by the hotshot Joey Scott. As we are about to get started, the familiar seconds out. Of course, synonymous with British wrestling. Whilst we don't have seconds in British wrestling anymore, it is still an, a nod to the tradition of British wrestling to have seconds out or seconds away. As we begin here with a collar and elbow tie-up, Joey Scott forcing Ollie Lloyd back to the ropes and a surprising clean break from the champion. As we are, of course, coming to you from the British territory of Gibraltar. The Spaniards, of course, used to own the island of Gibraltar. Now it is owned by the British, but it seems like the Spaniards are making some waves and trying to get that territory back. But right now, this is still British territory, and you are tuning in to LDN British Wrestling. And we've got Ollie Lloyd and Joey Scott. And once again, Scott then climbing on top of Lloyd in the corner. But again, a clean break. The champion demonstrating his early dominance. Well, folks, we are very, very close to 3,000 subscribers. And we would like to encourage you to subscribe to LDN Wrestling by clicking the subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner. You can, of course, follow LDN Wrestling on all of our social media pages, whether that is YouTube or Facebook or Twitter, should I say. And this time, Ollie Lloyd getting himself on top right there. And we've got a great contest about to unfold here the excitement is brewing these two both of these two competitors are sensational high flyers but ollie lloyd then with a cheeky kick to the backside of joey scott now the referee then just re-establishing the rules of this encounter making sure that both both competitors realize that we the stalling should be finished and the action should be beginning as they go once again for a collar and elbow tie-up. This time, Joey Scott takes control with a side headlock. Nice high angle side headlock right there. Lloyd then steps out of the headlock into a wrist lock. Lloyd now stepping onto the back and turning this into a high angled wrist lock and now into a back hammer. Look at the leverage that Joey Scott has. And Joey Scott was spanked right there by Ollie Lloyd. So Ollie Lloyd then spanking Joey Scott. Very interesting choice there from Ollie Lloyd. Well, I think Joey Scott's a little bit surprised by the way that Ollie Lloyd has come after him. He's already kicked his backside and now he's spanked it as well. So Ollie Lloyd then establishing himself presents as a, uh, as a true challenger right here. Collar and elbow tie-up. Scott once again with that headlock. Nice high angled side headlock putting Lloyd down to his knee. Lloyd then gripping all way around Scott's waist, forcing him back into the ropes, pushes him off and is tackled down by Scott as Scott comes off the ropes. 
Nicely done. Scott then charges. Lloyd tries to trip him up. Scott continues his assault. Lloyd jumps over him, and Lloyd is thrown over. Lands on his feet, ducks under a clothesline. Both men going for those right hands and stopping each other. No punches thrown, and here is a show of sportsmanship right here. No close fist punches, of course, allowed. And the two men, not quite a handshake, but a show of respect nonetheless. Well, these two once again looking in this feeling out process. Another collar and elbow type, and this time it's Ollie Lloyd with the headlock. Again, nice headlock there. Lloyd putting himself onto his knee, forcing Scott to go down as well. Lloyd then trying to take the control on the mat headlock takeover right there. Scott then reaches over with that head scissors, but Lloyd already rounding himself onto his head. Now look at this footwork here. Lloyd then, look at that. Getting the crowd clapping with his feet as he is in a headstand right there. And Ollie Lloyd bouncing around. Beautiful reversed, reversing the hold there. Now then Scott in trouble. Lloyd then working back up to his right foot. Left knee still on the mat. Now Lloyd back to his feet. Scott wrapping himself around. Scott pushing him off. And it's Ollie Lloyd this time with the momentum. Putting Scott down onto the mat. Lloyd then staring over his fallen opponent. Tries to trip him up. Scott jumps over Lloyd. Lloyd then... Oh, look at that superb Diva pinfall right there from Joey Scott, but just a two count. That one reversed then with a beautiful takedown. And look at the footwork right there from Ollie Lloyd and Joey Scott reversing this into a pin of his own. Lloyd reversing to another pin of his own and the referee unable to count more than two. Jackknife pinfall attempt. And look at these two, both shoulders are off the ground, they turn. Lloyd picks him up, turns him up into this backslide. Gets a quick cover, a two count right there. Lloyd throwing Scott off the ropes. Goes for a hip toss, blocked. Scott goes for a hip toss, blocked. Lloyd then hip tosses Joey Scott all the way over the top rope and into this crowd right here at this five-star resort here in Gibraltar. Just fantastic fast-paced action. Lots of pinfalls. British wrestling then demonstrating hold for hold. Dating back years and years. The tradition is very much alive here in LDN wrestling. And they are, well, Scott then taking his time on the outside, quite rightfully so. The referee already up to a five count. Oh, and this crowd saying fight, fight, fight. And Ollie Lloyd once again controlling the middle of the ring. And Joey Scott walking out of the ring and now telling everybody that he is the smarter of the two. And I would tend to agree with Joey Scott because, of course, on the outside of the ring, he can get counted out. But by doing so, he will not relinquish his LDN Capital TV. And now Ollie Lloyd realizing that is going to run after Joey Scott. Joey Scott tra tra running around the ring, enters the ring before. And as Ollie Lloyd enters the ring, Scott went for a leg drop. Lloyd moved out the way, drives his shoulder into the midsection of the hot shot. Money clips over him all the way there. Clothesline attempt. Tilt to well, suplex attempt, but turned into a head scissors. Beautifully done by the teenage sensation, Ollie Lloyd. And Ollie Lloyd now staring at the hot shot, Joey Scott, making him realize that Ollie Lloyd is a contender for the Capital Championship right here. Lloyd putting out his hand once again. And Ollie Lloyd is, is really trying to get this Gibraltar side, crowd on his side by demonstrating his level of sportsmanship. And, uh, well, there you go, a nice handshake. And Joey Scott then kicked to the midsection, snap their takeover, and a double foot scrape on the forehead of Ollie Lloyd. Cheap, cheap, cheap is the chant echoing around this five-star resort here in Gibraltar. But now the hotshot Joey Scott with some educated kicks to the midsection of Ollie Lloyd. Irish whip across. Ollie Lloyd then thrown with all of Joey Scott's weight behind him and Lloyd taking the entire turnbuckles, all three of them into his entire posterior chain. And now here we go with a vertical suplex. Very nicely done. Lloyd coming down onto that lower back right there. Just a two count from the hot shot Joey Scott. Nice hook of the legs right there. Ollie Scott then, 
Ollie Lloyd and Joey Scott in this ring fighting for the LDN Capital Championship. Goes for a suplex. Look at that. Lloyd then goes for a small package. I don't think he hooked his arms, which was like it was just a two count right there. Both men hit a drop kick at the same time. Both men then and oh wow, what a kick. And Lloyd just got dropped as both men attempted to hit a drop kick. And then it was Joey Scott who came off the ropes and gave a huge kick. And then a senton right there. Hook of the leg. Just a two count, though. Well, again, folks, we are going to see in action tonight following this bout. Alan Lee Travis and Adamo going one on one in the other bout that will determine the finalists for the King of Gibraltar competition. Uh, the winner of this will go on to the main event tonight for the second bout of the evening. But it's Joey Scott taking Ollie Lloyd down with a back elbow. Just a two count right there. Ollie Lloyd able to turn his left shoulder and drive it off of the mat. Of course, we will be crowning our first ever King of Gibraltar. And this is British wrestling's uh, you know, first foray into the territory of Gibraltar. Now Joey Scott going up to the middle rope, climbing to the top rope. What are we going to see from the high-flying champion right here? A standing moonsault, but it was missed. And Ollie Lloyd must be seeing his window of opportunity. Takes down twice then, now picks him up for a scoop slam. Lloyd puts Scott on the mats. Ollie Lloyd, what are we going to see from this man? Standing moonsault, nails him, hooks the leg. Oh, Scott able then just to push Lloyd off. Two count right there. Beautiful standing moonsault. It seems anything that Joey Scott does, Ollie Lloyd will try and one-up him on. Goes into the corner, monkey flip. Scott then lands flat on his back. Ollie Lloyd then charging from pillar to post right here. He's up for the monkey flip again. This time Joey Scott drops him down and he's going for a pin. His legs are on the ropes. The referee didn't see it. And Joey Scott has snuck away with a victory. Well, unfortunately for Ollie Lloyd, Joey Scott went to the well one too many times. And the hot shot Joey Scott advances to the King of Gibraltar finals, which will be taking place later on in the episode. But for Ollie Lloyd, he went to the well one too many times, tried to hit that monkey flip, and Joey Scott saw it coming, dropped him with a double leg takedown, and used the ropes for leverage as the hot shot Joey Scott leaves here, still as LDN Capital Champion, and now in the King of Gibraltar finals, which, just so we are clear, will be a non title bout. Four, uh, for the King of Gibraltar. And Joey Scott leaving this five-star venue with the bell still in tow. And now, highlights from the Battle Royale featuring stars from Spain, Italy, France, and of course, the UK. After 14 hard-fought minutes, the match will be won by the plucky teenage sensation, Ollie Lloyd. What a sensational win. Now 
on the second bout in the King of Gibraltar tournament. Comes to you with Adrian Adamo then. And Adamo then certainly not representing Spain. Adamo represents both the Italians and the French. But it looks today like he is representing the Tricolor. Or perhaps he is representing the Italians. It is unclear at the moment. But of course, do being a dual national, Adrian Adamo certainly going to be antagonizing this Gibraltar crowd. As you can see. Well, Adamo then entering the ring and well it's the italian flag that he is holding up right there still a version of tricolor obviously the three colors the red the white and the green of the italian flag but that is not the uh saint george's cross of, of the english Antonio Adamo then, the greatest country of all, according to Antonio, is of course Italy. Well, his opponent, certainly not Italian. And here comes Alan Lee Travis with the Gibraltar flag in hand. Of course, you can see the Union flag on the corner of that Gibraltar flag. Gibraltar still a British territory, of course. And Travis making his way to the ring. Of course, regular viewers of LDM Wrestling are going to be familiar with uh, Adamo, but you're also going to be more than familiar with the LDM British champion, Alan Lee Travis. As Royal Britannia blares out from the speakers. The winner of this bout will go on to face the LDN Capital Champion, the hotshot Joey Scott, who we just saw, defeated Ollie Lloyd in the first round of the King of Gibraltar tournament. But the other first round bout is right now coming up to you with Adrian Adamo going up against Alan Lee Travis. introduction and of course everything that was said in that introduction is a hundred percent fact over the last 10 years alan lee travis has had more wrestling matches in the united kingdom than any other wrestler and the, the statistics are not even close ladies and gentlemen As these two then battling out for the British Heavyweight Championship and a spot in the King of Gibraltar Finals. It is Antonio Adamo then who seemingly is not ready yet. He is removing his waistcoat 
and now the Italian is ready. The Italian who also holds French citizenship, of course, but is uh, representing Italy today. He was born in Milan. And Alan Lee Travis then certainly knows how to appeal to a hometown crowd coming out here with the Gibraltar flag firmly in his grasp. And now leading this five-star venue in a chant of Gibraltar. Fantastic stuff here. As the two men, a collar and elbow tie up to get started. Adamo with a headlock on Travis. Travis now trying to break that headlock. Unable to do so on the first attempt, but rolls him quickly up, hooks a single leg. Hooks him up for a second time. And for a third time right there, but Adamo then trying to adjust himself, pulls Travis back up to his feet now. Turns that into a nice wrist lock then from Travis. Roll through quick. Travis forced back down then, wrist control kept firmly on by Adamo. Travis, look at him trying to work his way out of this by getting that left leg and trying to force it into the chin of Adamo. Adamo then flicking it away very nicely. Travis then lands on his feet, breaks the hold. Snap may take over into a crucifix style pin. Well, that is the fourth time that Adamo has been pinned already in this contest and we are less than 30 seconds into it. Travis clearly has an MO in this competition and that is to get this bout won as soon as possible by pinning his opponent as quickly as possible because he realizes that the hotshot Joey Scott already into the final is already having more time to rest and recover and Travis will not want this bout to go on for a long time. Travis, of course, cognizant of the fact that he needs to get a quick victory here if he is going to contend with the hotshot Joey Scott and Travis already then figuring out ways in which to do that with a double rear deltoid lock right here. Travis driving that right knee into the upper traps of Adamo. Adamo then able to break the hold, turn it around and then go into a wrist lock and a quick arm jam there. Whips him across the ropes. Travis then jumps up and over, lands right in front of him and hits a beautiful arm drag. Hip toss attempt block, ducked under the clothesline. Travis with a drop kick and Adamo is hit square in the chest right there. And Adamo is out of this ring, wanting no further part of this fast paced start that the British champion had on Lee Travis. And Adamo asking for a timeout, but let me explain to the Italian that they don't get timeouts in professional wrestling. And now Travis with the Italian flag on the ground, teasing and taunting Adamo, but still ending up showing a little bit of respect by picking it off the ground. Handing it to Adamo on the outside right there. Oh, take it, uh, take it, Antonio. You want that Italian flag? Not giving him the flag. And now, oh, takes it away. And he wipes it in between the butt cheeks right there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the ultimate disrespect. And that is got this crowd chanting the three syllables that they love, which, of course, is Gibraltar. Now Adamo then, oh, and Traviston got caught trying to catch him on the run. And Adamo is right back here. And look at this firing into the upper back of Travis. Frustrated by the disrespect of the flag. And now taking that disrespect, taking that frustration out on the British champion. Adamo whips him in. Hits a very nice right-handed lariat. Goes for a quick cover then. Travis's left shoulder was off the mat very quickly. Adamo driving the elbow into the back of Travis. Of course, folks, we are bringing you this a very special episode right as 2021 is about to end. We want to just thank you for your continued support over not only this year, which has been a tough year for everyone, but just over the course of the uh, 15 years almost that LDN has been promoting shows. If you have ever seen us live and in person, we want to thank you. If you've tuned into any of our LDN uh, videos, whether that's Capital TV, London, I or any of our classic The Wrestling Channel content. We want to thank you for doing that. Please continue to support us as we go in to 2022 and you can find out when LDM Wrestling is coming 
to a town or city near you by heading on to our website, ldmwrestling.com. All of our upcoming tour dates are listed there as well as all of the different places where you can purchase tickets for our shows and you will never have a better night of entertainment as you will with live British wrestling from LDN Wrestling as we go back to the action in the ring right here as Antonio Adamo is firmly on top of Travis and he is on the outside right there and look at that beautiful beautiful slingshot sent on bomb right there. Travis then getting some damage done to him tries to recover in the corner but Adamo then look at this wrapping his arm around the top rope and forcing that wrist into some dangerous positions now taking control of the wrist in the middle of the ring and again dropping that wrist on his own shoulder twisting it just a little bit further and causing Travis to have no choice but to flip over to reduce the uh, the torque on that shoulder Travis's left arm then causing him a little bit of problems right here early on in this encounter as Adamo then uh oh this is gonna this can't this can't be good for Travis Oh, dropped right in between then the shins of Adamo. Just the two count early on here, still in this encounter. But it is all Antonio Adamo. The British champion is certainly suffering right here. And look at this, Adamo then slapping the back of Travis's face. And I, I don't think you do that if you're, if you're Adamo. And Travis not liking it and responding with a couple of forearms there. You don't disrespect the British champion in the middle of the ring. And Adamo then trying to come back, but Travis... Firing back with uppercuts. Adamo firing back with knees to the gut. Irish whip then. Travis ducks under the clothesline twice. And Travis then with a beautiful crossbody goes for a cover. Two count for the crossbody. Travis now stalking his opponent. Recovered certainly from the earlier encounter. Oh, and he went for that Travis effect, but Adamo moved out the way. And Adamo now hooks him in. Swinging neck breaker from Antonio Adamo. Well, Travis went to hit that Travis effect to try and end this encounter, but it went just over the head of Antonio Adamo. And Travis now, unfortunately, is back under the pressure of the Italian as the Italian is working away here. Has Travis in the corner. Goes for an Irish whip attempt. Travis, though, blocks it with both feet. Flying crossbody off the middle rope. Just a two count from the Brit right there. Well, the Brit picks up Adamo, trying to... Oh, and Adamo then taking advantage of having the referee behind him as the ref was unable to get a full view as Adamo goes right for the eyes of Travis just after Travis hit that beautiful second rope crossbody. And now Adamo throws Travis into the corner, but Travis again moving out of the way. Shoulder block from Travis. There's a second one from the Brit. Adamo comes up firing. Travis lifts him up, drops him down. And Alan Lee, Travis with a cover. Just a two count after that blue thunder bomb right there. And Alan Lee, Travis is making his way to his feet. And look at this, potentially setting up for that Travis effect leg drop. Goes for it. Boy, oh, he just got the kick then. He didn't quite get off of his feet. He picks him up this time. Oh, he went through once again underneath the arms. Spins through. Neck breaker right there. Travis could well have this bout won. Just a two count from Travis. That Travis effect leg drop wasn't quite hit earlier. It turned more into a kick because Adamo had his head, had his arm rather blocking the head right there. So Travis had no choice but to adjust on the fly. He picks him up for a body slam and slams him right into the middle of the ring. Travis now could well be thinking about that top rope leg drop that we have seen him use so many different occasions right here. And here he goes. Look at this. Travis all the way on the top rope. Adamo in the middle of the ring. Travis is up. Leg drop attempt. Oh, Adamo missed. And Travis then nursing those hamstrings once again as he comes down full force in the center of the ring. And Adamo makes his way back to his feet using the ropes as an assist to get up. And now Adamo is potentially going up top. What are we going to see from the Italian? We've seen a big elbow drop from him in the past. What are we going to see from him this time? Oh my goodness, he went for a 450, he missed. Travis, there it is, the Travis effect, leg drop. And we have a victory for the British champion.
Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Alan Lee Travis through to the finals of the King of Gibraltar tournament and a fantastic win for the LDM British champion. But what this means, ladies and gentlemen, is our finals here for the King of Gibraltar tournament will be between the current LDN Capital champion, the hotshot Joey Scott, and the current LDM British champion, Alan Lee Travis. And that it will be a non-title match, but champion versus champion it will be. And the winner will come out on top as the King of Gibraltar. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this was one of LDN's many forays into traveling outside of the traditional British Isles. And we have got breaking news, or should I say, we have got fantastic news for you coming up about yet another opportunity for our British uh, residents in the British Channel Islands of Guernsey. And here we go with Tom Mitchell. After promoting the first ever professional wrestling show in Gibraltar, LDN Wrestling is traveling once again on Saturday, July 9th. This time, LDN Wrestling will go to the British Channel Islands, specifically the Crown Dependency of Gersney. This will take place at the Princess Royal Center for Performing Arts. In action at night, already confirmed are British Heavyweight Champion Alan Lee Travis, Capital Champion The Hotshot Joey Scott, plus many, many more. Tickets will be available very soon at GersneyTickets.gg. We are so excited to come to your beautiful island and we will see everybody ringside. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You are going to see both the hotshot Joey Scott, who is making his way to the ring for the second time tonight for the King of Gibraltar finals. And you will see his opponent, the LDM British champion, Alan Lee Travis, in Guernsey in 2022. What a great announcement. And we are so excited to continue to bring LDM wrestling to all British wrestling fans all over the world and all over the Commonwealth. And the hotshot Joey Scott making his way to the ring right here. This is the second time that he will be competing tonight, as it will be the second time for his opponents. But I think Joey Scott has had a little bit more time than Alan Lee Travis to recover. Travis had enough time to get to the back, maybe get a quick drink in, maybe towel off, and then come right back out for a second encounter. Whereas the hotshot Joey Scott had a good 40 minutes in between this and the previous match where he was able to you know, maybe take a shower, maybe change, you can see he's changed his outfit somewhat and uh, you know, get some fresh freshness on him. Now well, Joey Scott then, a little bit fresher of course than his opponent, but let's see the reaction. Championship. What a what an announcement. I mean, that is very, very much playing into the hands of the hotshot Joey Scott. But at the same time, given the manner of his victory against Ollie Lloyd, given the manner of his victory against Ollie Lloyd, it potentially prevents him from having an advantage. Well, his opponent, of course, we just saw him uh, defeat Antonio Adamo. It is Alan Lee Travis, the British champion. And this is British champion versus capital champion, but not a championship bout, but it is for the King of Gibraltar title, of course. And we will see which of these two leaves as royalty tonight. But folks, you heard it. 
the LDN commissioner agreed to it. It is going to be a street fight between these two, which means there are no count outs, there are no disqualifications, and fools count anywhere. So this may well be a hold on to your hats type of contest. Follow the action as it, I am sure, will travel all around this five-star arena right here as it will be British champion against capital champion. Oh, wait a second. The hotshot Joey Scott just put his hands on our ring announcer, folks. And that, well, that could well be a suspension in his future for the capital champion. And as uh, Alan Lee Travis is checking on the ring announcer, this, um, I'm very, very concerned. He's not a trained fighter and he did not see that coming. And I think Travis is gonna have to defend the honor of uh, the ring announcer right there. The ring announcer certainly shook a little bit. And that was just a ta an attack from behind. Well, as he's making his way back to his feet, we do have medical personnel on hand, of course, but it does seem like our ring announcer is, is okay. He's going to make his way, hopefully, to a safer place to observe this contest. Although, I will say this, I'm not sure there is a safe place to observe this contest. As the two belts are in the ring, and Travis leading this, uh, leading this Gibraltar crowd in a chant of, you suck for Joey Scott, and his actions certainly do. Well, there it is, an immediate decision. Not a suspension, but a 5,000 pound fine. Well, that is not a great way to start. I'm sure his headspace is not in a particularly strong place right there. But Alan Lee Travis and the hotshot Joey Scott about to go in a street fight and no collar and elbow tie up to get us started here, folks. Instead, we are gonna see punches thrown and forearms thrown and kicks thrown. And it's Travis Demers, with an Irish whip to the corner. He follows it in with a big back body drop, sending Joey Scott about 12 feet up in the air and 12 feet straight down, clotheslining him over the top rope. And again, there are no count outs. There are no disqualifications. I can imagine that the hotshot Joey Scott is not really excited about this type of bout right now. Travis, though, sees Scott on the outside, hits the ropes. Over the top rope, wow! What a way to begin this championship match. And when I say championship, I'm referring to, of course, the title of King of Gibraltar. Neither the British or Capital Championships are on the line here. Oh, and Travis with a big clothesline on the outside. It's a carpet on the outside, folks. That is not protective mat. You can understand that there is either concrete or hardwood floor underneath that carpet. But again, no count outs here. These two individuals are gonna be fighting all over this arena as Scott then takes control, throws Travis's head into that ring apron, the hardest part of the ring, just steel posts holding this ring together. And now look at Scott. Stalking Travis and putting the boots to the back of Travis as they're going all the way through this arena right here. I mean, I'm hoping they stay in the arena, but falls do count anywhere. He can pin him right there if he wanted to. Instead, he's bringing him slowly back towards the ring. And look at this. You can see Travis then trying to sort of keep his distance, but Scott firing in and Travis responds with a kick and a right hand of his own. And now Travis throwing Scott into the steel post on the outside. Well, Scott and Travis going back and forth with each other. Oh, you heard that. That was a miss right there. And Travis hits a knife edge chop right to the chest. And another one right to the chest. Going to light him up tonight with that chest. Ah, but this is where Joey Scott's instincts take over. Well, folks, this is going to be a street fight. We know this. You're going to see a lot of things that you might not be used to seeing in an LDM wrestling uh, show, including these guys fighting in the crowd. So, again, we, uh, we acknowledge the fact that this is a little bit different. But with the way Joey Scott handled his first count, his first match today, his first bout, really the LDM commissioner had no choice but to make this a no-holds-barred contest, a street fight rules. Well, folks, if you have yet to subscribe to LDM Wrestling, we really do appreciate if you would have subscribed. Give us a like, enable notifications, feel free to share and comment on our post. Tell us which match was your favorite from this episode or who your favorite LDM wrestler is, perhaps who you'd like to be interviewed. Oh, and Travis then on the receiving end of a suplex onto the hard carpet floor out here in this five-star venue.
And look at that, the referee then pushed out the way. Still not a disqualification because this bout is being fought under street fight rules and there are no disqualifications. He's got him right up against the door and he is choking him right there. Well, again, we ask you to head on to LDMWrestling.com to find out when LDM Wrestling is coming to a town or city near you as we will continue in 2022 our frequent tours of all areas of the United Kingdom, which will include in July a trip out to Guernsey. Um, and you can get tickets on that at guernseytickets.gg um, for that trip in July. But Travis and Scott right here are going at it on the outside. Travis just used a chair to launch himself onto the hotshot Joey Scott, but Scott kicking him off as they're coming, these two men back and forth. And now Travis is sat in the chair that he just launched himself off of and is given a high angled knife edge chop to the chest. And now these two men just continuing to fight all over. Just bear in mind, folks, that this is both of these uh, competitors' second bout of the evening. Joey Scott picks up Travis. He's got him in that power slam position. Oh, and Travis then was able to get away around the back and force Scott into that ring post. And now Travis throwing Joey Scott back into the middle of the ring for the first time in this contest. We're bringing the action back to the center of the ring. And Joey Scott then is in the ring. Travis is climbing up top and Scott then got to his feet and Travis is on the top rope. And Travis is in a very dangerous predicament as Joey Scott then. Oh my goodness, what are we gonna see? Oh my goodness, an Olympic slam from the top rope from the hot shot Joey Scott. Just a two count, Travis finding in his perseverance then a way to kick out of that top rope Olympic slam. Now Joey Scott then driving the hamstring deep into the chest of Alan Lee Travis as his chest was over that middle rope. And now Scott then pushing down on the top rope, putting all of his weight to that 14 stone into the midsection of Alan Lee Travis. Well, Joey Scott is certainly on top right here. Travis trying to get away from him by crawling under the rope, but Scott not allowing him to do so and drops a leg drop on the outside of the ring. Again, folks, that is the hardest part of the ring. Well, both men then have battled back and forth in this match, but it is the hot shot. Joey Scott clearly on top, but Travis now fighting back with some right hands of his own. Look at these right hands. Now you're seeing Travis using those fists because this is a street fight. And now Joey Scott then reversing that Irish whip and putting all the pressure back onto the midsection and lower back of the British champion, Alan Lee Travis. And the hot shot, Joey Scott, well, he would love to leave here as the king of Gibraltar only to antagonize this crowd even further. They dislike him as it is, but they will dislike him even more if he claims superiority over the crowd with the title of king of Gibraltar. Travis, though, is up. Wilbur attempt all the way up and drops him with a bulldog right there. Oh, very nice stepping in Zaguri. And Travis goes for a cover, hook of the leg. Just a two count, Scott able to kick out. A pinfall will suffice in this match. It is street fight rules though, as Travis then is caught. And Travis with a kick to the midsection. He's under the pressure now, but reverses the Irish whip. Scott goes in the corner, jumps over Alan Lee. Travis, oh, right to the back. Right to the back and throws Travis. Shoulder first into the midsection or into the... Uh, Corner post right there. Joey Scott, rope assisted moonsault. Just a two count. I thought that might well have been it. Joey Scott using his high flying ability there to do a top rope assisted moonsault. But Alan Lee Travis still not down and still not out. Joey Scott picking Travis up then. Travis fires away, ducks under a clothesline. Oh, and there's that shoulder block. We saw this sequence earlier. Oh, and so did Joey Scott. Not allowing Travis to get that second shoulder block in. But we saw Joey Scott hit the sense on earlier, as did Travis. And now Travis rolls him in with a snapmare takeover. Beautiful neck breaker. Just the two count. Both of these men know each other so well, have been scouting each other all of the time. But Joey Scott now in the corner trying to get respite. Travis not allowing him to do so. Irish whip follows it in. Joey Scott lifts him up and throws him onto the outside, but Travis lands on his feet. And Joey Scott with a drop kick very low, pushing Travis outside of the ring and dropping him out to the floor. Oh, wait a sec. Joey Scott is on the top rope. He's on the outside of the ring. This is exceptionally dangerous. Travis is in no man's land. Joey Scott then is up on that top rope. What are we going to see right here? 
a moonsault. Wow, and he lands on his feet and knocks Travis down. And ladies and gentlemen, love him or hate him, you can't argue about the athletic prowess of the LDN Capital Champion, the Hotshot Joey Scott. You won't see many men do that. And you've just saw the Hotshot Joey Scott hit it. He now goes to the top rope to what could be his final attempt at a win right here. Shooting star press, but lands on his stomach. And Travis, though, sees an opening, getting this crowd fully behind him as he comes up to the top rope. Top rope, Travis, leg drop, Travis effect. Wow, we have a new and premier king of Gibraltar. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a fantastic street fight to end tonight's very special edition of LDN Wrestling as we have come to you tonight from the overseas British territory of Gibraltar. And as we leave you tonight, we leave you with the LDN British Champion, Alan Lee Travis and the Wrestling King of Gibraltar as LDM Wrestling has brought to you a phenomenal show here, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Reginald Kensington III and I want to thank you, not just for tuning in today, but for all of your support over this year. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And as we begin 2022, let me just tell you that LDM Wrestling will be promoting shows up and down the Great British Isles and all over the British territories. But from the British champion, Alan Lee Travis and LDM Wrestling, we are British and proud.